Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover filter or criteria design button implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, filter or criteria design button introduction video tutorial where I have explained what is uh, filter or criteria design button, where to use uh, filter or criteria design button etc. So first watch that video tutorial then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this uh, filter or criteria design button implementation tutorial very clearly. This is a class diagram of uh, sample code which I am going to show for uh, filter or criteria design button. First, uh, I will explain the scenario where we have to use uh, filter or criteria design button. Suppose say we have a person collection, uh, in that uh, we have five person. Okay, uh, in that five person, some of the persons are married and uh, some of the persons are not married and uh, some of the persons are male and some of the persons are female okay and from this uh, person collection uh, we want to get a uh, sublist of person who are male or a sublist of person who are female sublist of person who are married or sublist of person who are not married or sublist of person who are married and male uh, and sublist of person who are uh, married or uh, female so if you want to get this kind of uh, different sublist then we, we can use uh, filter or criteria design button okay so here uh, you can see person right so to represent a person i have created a person class and it has uh, three variables name gender and marital status okay name will be name of the person uh, gender will be male or female marital status will be married or not married okay and uh, here you can see criteria interface it has uh, one method called meet criteria and you have to pass a list of person and it will return list of person okay and uh, this interface so this method is abstract method uh, this criteria interface is implemented by different uh, criteria classes like male criteria female criteria married criteria not married criteria criteria or condition criteria and condition this classes implement this criteria interface okay uh, suppose uh, take uh, male criteria uh, it implements uh, this meet criteria method and uh, provide implementation okay and you can see uh, here meet criteria we have to pass a uh, list of person so what this method does is it will uh, iterate the uh, person list which we are passing to this method and it will identify uh, from that uh, uh, person list it will identify uh, the person who are male and uh, it will make a sublist of uh, person who are male and it will return uh, male person list to the caller okay uh, like that uh, female criteria class is there it has meet criteria method here you have to pass a uh, uh, list of uh, person so what this method does is uh, it will identify the person who are female and it will make a female uh, sublist and it will return to the caller like that uh, married criteria which provide implementation of this meet criteria so what this meet criteria does is uh, uh, it will uh, iterate the person list uh, which are passed to this method and it will identify the person who are married and it will make the married uh, person uh, sublist and it will return married person sublist to the caller like that uh, not married criteria which provide implementation of this meet criteria method uh, so here you have to pass a list, uh, list of person so what this method does is it will identify the person who are uh, not married and it will return not married uh, uh, list to the caller okay and uh, criteria or condition suppose say uh, from this uh, person collection we want to know uh, or we want to get the sublist of uh, person who are male or married okay then what you have to do is here in this constructor you have to pass male criteria object and married criteria object okay then if you call uh, this meet criteria method by passing this uh, person list so what this method will do is it will filter out uh, the person who are uh, uh, male or married and it will return the sublist to the caller okay and uh, 
suppose say from this person collection you want to get a sub list of male and married okay then what you have to do is in this constructor you have to pass male criteria and uh, married criteria the, then uh, if you call this meet criteria method uh, this meet criteria method what it will do is it will identify the person uh, who are male and married and it will make the sublist and uh, return the sublist to the caller okay and uh, this is about uh, explanation of uh, uh, filter of criteria design pattern class diagram we will see the sample code so that you will understand more okay so i'll open the eclipse So here you can see person class, right? So I will open the person class. So you, we have a name, a gender, marital status, and uh, uh, the constructor you have to pass name, gender, and marital status to create the person object, right? This is the person class. and here you can see criteria interface and different kind of criteria classes so i will open criteria interface and a different kind of uh, criteria classes next so criteria interface it has meet criteria method you have to pass a list of uh, person and it will return list of person okay and i will open uh, mail criteria dot java so which implements criteria interface and provide implementation of meet criteria method you have to pass a person list so what this method does is uh, it will iterate all the person and identify all the male person in it and make the sub list of uh, male person and uh, uh, it will add male person to this uh, male person sub list and it will return the male person to the caller okay and i will open uh, female uh, criteria so it also implements a criteria interface provide implementation of meet criteria method and you have to pass person list and it will iterate all the person and from the from uh, this person object it, uh, it will identify the female person object and add to the female person uh, list and it will return the female person to the caller i will open the married criteria dot java so it implements a criteria interface provide implementation of uh, meet criteria method and uh, it will uh, iterate the person list which we are passing to this method and identify the person who are married and it will add it to the married person uh, list and married person list will be written to the caller so next not married criteria it implements a criteria interface and it provide implementation of meet criteria method and uh, it will iterate the person which we are passing to this uh, method and identify the person who are not married and uh, that person will be added to the not married uh, person list and that not married person list will be returned to the caller and uh, criteria and condition um, suppose uh, we want to get uh, male and uh, married person from this uh, person list then we can use this one uh, so here we have to pass two criteria object uh, to create the criteria and condition object okay suppose we want to get male and married then here you have to pass male criteria here you have to pass uh, married criteria okay then if you call uh, mid criteria method by passing the person list uh, this will filter out uh, person who are uh, male and married okay and criteria or condition suppose uh, from the person list uh, we want to get a person who are uh, male or married then uh, here you have to pass male criteria here you have to pass married criteria and then if you call this meet criteria method it will filter out uh, person who are uh, male or married and it will return the sub list to the caller okay and here left side you can see criteria pattern demo uh, 
this uh, class is used to uh, show the demo of this uh, uh, filter okay here design pattern okay it's like a client class I will open the client class criteria pattern demo I will uh, run this uh, sample code in uh, debug mode so that you will understand uh, this one very clearly I am running in debug mode so here uh, what I am doing is uh, I have created a person object person list object and I am adding uh, different kind of uh, person object to the person list okay and here you can see some of them are uh, male and uh, some of the persons are uh, female and in that uh, some of the persons are married and some of the persons are not married so you can see all those things right and this is the name of the person so we are I am passing name of the person and uh, gender and uh, whether it is whether the person is married or not married okay so from this uh, uh, I want to filter out uh, different sub list then I can use this criteria design button right and I will step over so these are the persons uh, which are in the person list okay and uh, so I am creating a male criteria object and I want to uh, from this list I want to get uh, all the male person okay and then I am so that I am creating male uh, criteria object and it will uh, call uh, male criteria object uh, meet criteria method and passing the person list right then what this meet criteria will do is I will go to that it will uh, iterate the person list and identify all the male person and it will uh, put it in the male persons uh, list and finally that uh, male person list will be written it to the caller I will step over okay so now you can see here person who are male that list is written to the caller you can see all persons are male uh, likewise uh, uh, if I want to identify the person who are female then I have to create a female criteria object that's what I am doing here then calling female criteria dot meet criteria it will return all the female uh, person list that's what I am printing here so female married and uh, female so two person I am getting female right okay next I want to get all the person who are not married then I have to create not married criteria then call the not married criteria uh, meet criteria method so this will return uh, the person who are not married right so you can see here the person who are not married that is written here I am printing next I want to get a person who are uh, married okay so I am creating married criteria object So you can uh, see I am getting married uh, person list that I am displaying here and I want to get married or male and then uh, I am creating married male uh, criteria object by passing uh, married criteria and male criteria to the criteria and condition constructor okay so once you do that one and if you call um, criteria criteria and uh, condition uh, meet criteria method it will filter out all the married male person and it will return we will see the output you can see uh, male and married person has returned right and uh, suppose if I want to get uh, not married or female then uh, I can use uh, criteria or condition here you have to pass not married uh, criteria object and female criteria object then if you call uh, meet criteria method it will return all the not married or female uh, person list so that one I am printing here you can see uh, all are not married right so I got the not married person also I got 
female person it's like our condition right so you can see the output here so this is a sample code of uh, um, filter or criteria design button so this is the output right person list males females not married 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 and male not married or female so we can get different kind of sub list using this filter or criteria design pattern and i will open the class diagram again so i think uh, now you understood this uh, class diagram and the sample code uh, clearly and i have put together all this uh, sample code uh, in my blog you can visit the blog and get the sample code and this is about uh, filter or criteria design pattern uh, implementation and uh, thanks for watching bye